G'day guys, Ron here from Osborne Digital Marketing. Today, I'm going to show you how you can accurately select the best backlinks for your campaign, ensuring that you save a buck. Let's jump into it. Now, guys, I've just grabbed a random plumber for Miami Plumbing. Grabbed this guy that was ranking up the top, the one down the very bottom here. I've grabbed him. Now, what I'm specifically going to show you today is how you can determine if a backlink has had a positive or a negative impact on a page. Let's let's jump into it. So this is the website here. Again, guys, I'm not working with these guys. Just showing you because they're up the top and I grabbed them. First thing you want to do, very first thing, go over to SEMrush, come down to the organic research. This is where I'd like to start. Now, let's just say you're looking at a competitor because this is generally what I, what will happen with me. So let's just say I'm, I'm looking at the roofing page of a competitor and I go, okay, they're up a lot higher. And then I'll look at the backlink profile. I might do a backlink gap analysis. You can watch that video that's linked up above if you don't know how to do it. Very, very important. It's absolutely vital. But let's just say I've done all of that, okay? So you wouldn't really start in this manner. I'm just doing it so I can show you an example. But essentially, I'm going to look at it and go, ooh, that's a pretty average looking link. Will that actually work or not? So you should be in this position. You're sitting there going, should I actually point that link to my money page or should I not? So you're already there. And that's what we're looking at. So what you want to do is I'm just going to grab a service page. Uh, blog, 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 blog. Uh, up. So I'm, again, just, just for reference, you would already have your page. You're already determining. I'm just having a look to see what's gone up uh, recently. So let's have a look at this residential emergency plumbing page. Let's have a look. So what I'm going to do is have a look at this page and I'm going to see all of the backlinks, which I hope there are many, coming to this page. So I'm going to go down to the backlink analysis. We can see, all right, cool banana. It's been a jump up. There's been an absolute jump up in the keywords. So, oh yeah, we've got one. We've got one. That's absolutely fantastic. <laughs> all right, that worked out really, really well. Awesome. Cool banana. So obviously... Uh, not looking, not looking at all of the mass amounts down here, guys, where that's to the, to the root. We're not looking at that. We're looking at this one referring domain, this one backlink. So I'm going to have a look at the backlink and see what it is and when it was built. So this is what you want to do. You want to be like, okay, well, this link over here, this is a link, uh, contractor supplies.com will be contractor supply.com. You'll see that it was seen, the very first time it was seen, and this is by SEMrush, was May, and then it's still active. According to this, it's still active. It's a no-follow link. So let's have a look, and let's see what it actually did to this page. So all we want to do is go back over to this. We want to go back and have a look at our actual page. So let's have a look at the positioning. So let's have a look, see at how those keywords performed. Remember, it was built in May. So you can generally say a couple of months after, you should start to see the impact. Okay, so let me just double check that it was May this year. Yep, it was May this year, 5th of May this year. So what you're looking for when you're trying to determine the impact of a backlink so you can get the best backlink for your campaign is to see what happened. So if we have a look here, May spiked a little bit. It spiked a little bit compared to April. All right, there was a little bit of a spike, but then it dropped off in June and it dropped off hardcore in July. So in May, we had 16 and then we had four. But look at the bounce back. Look at that bounce back. And this is actually a really perfect example, guys. Really perfect example. Because you'd be sitting here, like if it, let's just say it was, this was May. All right, this was May. And you're seeing this, you're going to be like, yeah, Ronnie, yeah, it worked. Backlinks don't always do this though. They don't always go from this month, nothing to this. A lot of the time you will see this. You will see that it's gone, bruh, falls off and then starts building back again and with a vengeance. That's something that's very important when you're trying to check the impact of a backlink. You give it some time. Now, if it was me, let's just say we're back in like July and I'm looking at this. It's like, okay, well, two months ago, they built this backlink. What am I thinking? What am I doing? Let me just try and maybe zoom in a little bit more for you guys so you can see a bit better. So what am I thinking? If I see this in July, I'm going to sit back and wait. Okay, so like I said, we've gone back in time a couple of months and we're looking at this and going, ooh, she's dropped down a bit. What I would be thinking is let's wait. Let's see what 
n- happens next month and the month after because I see this as a downward trend. But I know Google, you can get awesome backlinks. You'll absolutely tank. And then two months later, it's just off. You're off and everything's going really well. Like it is. Like, look at it now, guys. That's going so well. And it's got that one link pointed to it. So this is a perfect example of how you can check for the best backlink and if you should be building it to your page. So that's what I would do. Now, now I see all of this all of this bounce back, what I would be doing right now is actually going across and seeing what other links they built. Because again, I see this and go, well, it did hurt it negatively. Be cautious. Whenever you see something going downwards, you've got to start applying a a little bit of caution. Just make sure you don't fall in because it might actually hurt your website. This might have been a subpar link, but there's other links that lifted up the ship that helped the domain. So it's very important to consider that. So make sure that you just look at everything overall. So what I'd be doing is going back and looking over at all the referring domains they built for May, seeing what I, May, month before as well, April, May, looking at that time period to see if they built a ton of links. If they just had this link drop in, I'd be very confident building this. I'd be very confident. So you want to go out there and get that link. And that's how you can determine the impact of this link. If you've liked it, guys, put a comment down below about if you've liked it or not. Let me know if you enjoy this type of shorter content, just straight to the point, giving you guys awesome examples like this. If you want to have a chat with me, you can book a time down below. I'll see you around. Like and subscribe, guys. Cheers, legends.